thank you so much for doing this interview with me, but more importantly, thank you so much for being part of this event. Tenth year, man, how do you guys feel, not just being part of this, but let's face it, you guys are going to be in the ring against each other. <laughs> Honestly, a little excited. Not just a little, a lot excited, because like the production's amazing, the opponent's amazing, the people are amazing, like, it's just a great experience all around. Well, yeah. well, part of that experience, though, is that you guys had to be held off for, what, two or three years because of COVID? Like, yes. what was going on at that time? Explain that, please. Well, we were actually not of the fighters that are part of that 2019 team. Yeah. There's five of them and five new fighters. So they have new faces. We have some old faces as well. But I know for a certain we're both really excited. The, uh, the fighters from 2019, they are ecstatic to finally doing this. They've been three years in the making. They've raised so much money. They're all raising north of $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, all for the Princess Mara Cancer Foundation. So it's really incredible that in just one week we'll be going, going in the ring. Yeah. Cannot wait for that. Um, but really this is because it's giving back and it's a cause. What was your reasoning for wanting to do this? Uh, my reasoning for wanting to do this is because throughout my whole life my family has been touched by cancer, especially my grandmother Eve, and I'm dedicating this fight for her. Uh, this, she's the rock of my, of my life, basically. Uh, she lived in the Philippines, didn't get to say goodbye, but this is my chance of finally trying to dedicate something for my grandmother, and I miss her so dearly. What about yourself, sir? Um, yeah, cancer has always been a part of my family. Luckily, none of my immediate family, my parents or sisters are still okay. However, I've lost grandparents at a very young age. I always wondered how it would be growing up with grandparents. I never had that chance. My whole dad's side, they both died at very young. Um, and on top of that too, just actually, sadly, two weeks ago, one of my neighbors who actually fought off cancer for two years died because her body couldn't handle COVID. So I'm, I'm, I have a little pin here of saying, what would Dora do? And she was like a second mother to me as a neighbor, so I'm fighting for her as well, for the sister too. <sighs> I feel for you. I lost my brother to throat cancer about uh, eight years ago, so it's one of the big reasons why I'm such a big supporter of this event. What has been the training been like? And I gotta ask you, man, because you got that drink in your head. It's almost like you're taking the night off from the training here. <laughs> well, for the drink in my hand, the, the virtual told me to like take some ease off of, you know, the, the little nervousness of the whole media day spectacular thing that's happening here. So it's a little bit of an ease. He gave us a little bit of an approval, but training, training wise, it's been intense. It's been intense. We've been trying to get into uh, training and boxing like four times a week. Um, I've actually lost like 25 pounds that's since then, which was, it's ridiculous, it's just crazy. And um, I'm feeling a lot, a lot better, a lot lighter, a lot faster. So it's gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great time. What about yourself, man? What's the training been like? Oh, it's been very good. I just wanna say congratulations too, because he had to lose weight for this fight, and he has done an incredible job on this. So first, congratulations on that. I don't think I've told oh, you yeah. that. What's the weight, what's the weight? Uh, uh, we're fighting around 190, so we have to be eight pounds between each other. So I've been hovering around that weight the whole time and just trying to maintain as much as I can. But he had to come down, how much weight? Like 25, 20, 25 pounds. So he's done an incredible job to be here. So yeah. congratulations. You get, you deserve that drink. You really do. <laughs> and what's your training been like? Uh, my training's been really hard. I've been one that before boxing, I used boxing as a cardio cross training effect. I was really big into weightlifting. And if anyone knows that see that transfer over, it's completely different. Yeah. To be fast, you gotta drop the weights. So I've had a battle through some minor injuries here and there, but I'm healthy now. The training's been hard, as Mark said. It's been really intense. Uh, every day is something new. You learn a new technique, you learn a new stance, but we're both just really excited for this thing to happen. But what's it like? I mean, you're being friendly here, but as we speak, in a week or week and uh, two days, you're not smiling at each other. It's gonna be the fight, and it's three rounds, correct? Yeah, it's gonna be three rounds, two minutes. Um, it's it's, it's definitely like a different vibe, especially when we're all training together. Uh, we see how hard we work, we see how much sweat we pour, and to be honest, like just having that bonding moment with everybody, it's, it's, it's been a, quite an experience. So that's why once the fight starts, I feel like it's just gonna be a fun time. But we'll see. We gotta put. We got We gotta get some gur in there. <laughs> this is the same way because you're standing against your opponent, yeah, man. This is. This is. I think the last. Uh, day, I guess you could say, this media day where we're putting on a nice brave face for everyone here that's supporting Princess Mara Cancer Foundation. But after this day, we have, what, nine nine days nine before days. the fight. I'm not going to be saying anything to him. I'm going to, it might be three rounds, but it's going to take one against you right now. But uh, yeah, I've, it's just, 
it's incredible just to be here really what honestly. do you do with the butterflies though how do you how do you get rid of the butterflies the butterflies like like the like Not the well, like a butterfly sting stuff. like a bee i mean the stomach butterflies the stomach butterflies yeah. uh well it, it, it's it's honestly just the mental game it's uh, we've had training every Saturday where we get into our headspace. Um, it's been it's like just have our headphones in and just try to get to get in that that serious mode. Uh, but once the fight starts, I feel like everything is gonna just come out and we're just all ready to go. Feeling the same way, man? Uh, almost exactly the same way. Ba boxing, if people that haven't boxed before, it's not the physical aspect that's draining, it's the mental aspect. Once you get punched in the face, you lose everything that you thought, everything that you were training for, everything. It goes out, whatever you know, whatever in your core, what you know by heart, that's what's gonna come out. And I can also say that's kind of how life is. You gotta use the tools that you know deep down to move forward in life. And it's the same thing about boxing. You might have a plan going in until you get knocked in the face, then you go, what, you go to what you know best. I've been to this. I've been out there and I've seen guys go down. So anything you wanna to say to your opponent? I just want to say, Mitch, have fun. Have fun with it. Have fun missing your shots. Have fun missing your punches. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? Exactly. And? I'm going for the knockout, baby. It's going to be our first round, second round knockout, buddy. All right? No matter what, you guys are fighting for all of us, and that's what's important. Thank you so much for the interview. Good luck to the both of you. No matter what happens, you're both champions. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.